All right, the Mitsubishi hot or cold play of the day. Here we go. Taco Falls is seven foot five, and Aaron Golden dumped over him. Not only dunked over him, he went over him, and still watch. He didn't touch. He didn't even touch Taco. He didn't even touch him. Over top. Now there's controversy about whether or not he touched him. He only touched him after the fact, and I don't think it really impeded his. Uh, dunk. However, he ended up losing to Derek Jones Jr. because of that. That's our Mitsubishi Hot or Cold Play of the Day. Leads us to our Tri State Furniture Tweet of the Day. Okay, this is a tweet. This is from John Hollinger who says a world record in the high jump is 7 feet 11.67 inches. Gordon jumped over a guy who is 7 foot 6 in shoes, grabbed a basketball, and dunked it. That's our Tri State Furniture Tweet of the Day. It is pretty impressive when you think about it. Taco Falls is a big guy, seven foot six, and he jumped over him. I would have voted for the BYU mascot. Did you see him? <laughs> I did see that, yeah. <laughs> they threw him from the three point line. Not bad. I was yeah. all about the BYU mascot. But it's amazing how guys can get and up like this. And he kept his head on this time. He Remember did. the BYU mascot lost right. its head? There's, scarring little children over Utah? I don't know about Utah? you, but I like the NBA skills competition, all of it. It's fun. It's fun. It's better than a lot of others. All right, back to the lines. We had RJ in Somerset. Hello, RJ. Hi, guys. I need your opinion. Do you think the Niners. Got cheated out of winning the Super Bowl on Super Bowl Sunday because Richard Sherman hit that running back so hard and fumbled the ball, and his right foot was on the sideline. And even my buddy even sat there and said that was not a touchdown. What's no, the opinion, he, right? he had gotten across the pylon, didn't he? If I remember that play. Yeah, I didn't have a problem. With I, I didn't either. I think even though your fun. buddy disagrees. Yeah. All right, let's go out to Matt in Lower Borough. Hey, Matt, how are you doing tonight? Hey, how's it going? Good, thanks. I just had a quick question. What do you think about the idea of trading away uh, James Conner, Juju Smith-Schuster, getting some draft capital and drafting a true running back that we can actually play every down? Why wouldn't you consider James Conner to be a true running back other than his injury? If the injury is a factor, which it is, but they seem to seem, think that when he's healthy and they believe he can be healthy this year. Uh, plus, I don't see teams making trades like this, especially now. Uh, not for... You know, Connor, who has had injury issues, and Juju. I, I, there are people who believe you can get a lot for Juju in return. I'm not one of them right now. I'm of the opinion that they should draft another receiver and they should draft a running back as high as they can. I think all the needs on the team have to be thrown at offense, but they are of the opinion that they're not giving up on those specific individuals and some others because they think their bad seasons were largely the result of not having Roethlisberger healthy. Uh, I think they might be overrating that. I think those two players need some help, and I think they need to throw um, depth at those positions and try to get some answers that way. All right, John, you're on the air. Welcome to the sports call, John. Thank you for yep. taking my call. Sure, make it Good quick, evening. Please. Good evening. Yeah, well, I've listened to football. I've listened to hockey. I've listened to some guy jumping seven feet high, but I haven't heard a word about America's greatest race. Because it was postponed and it's on tomorrow. Well, I know that. You know that. But this country up here is racing country. And I'd like to hear something about it on the, on the news. Well, I, I mean, they postponed the race, John. So I'm not so sure what we're supposed to do with it. Why don't you take it? You take your NASCAR commentary and, I mean, nothing happened today. It I don't care about NASCAR. Okay. He said it's NASCAR country, Tim, well, don't you know? I guess I live in a different country then. <laughs> no, I mean. I mean, I could talk about it. I wouldn't be talking out of my mouth about it. I'd be talking somewhere else about it because I don't know anything about racing, which is why I'm not talking about it. Have you ever been to one? I have been to the Daytona 500. And? It was fun. It's it was an experience. Fun. It's, it's, a, it's a, a great experience, and it is. It's, a, it's an event. I just want to check off if the list. If you like events, yeah, it's a very I good just event. don't know of what I speak there. Well, it's, you got to be into it big time. When I saw uh, American Race up there, I thought we were going way deep into the Rudolph thing. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were I going too. somewhere completely. My, my head was I not agree. on auto racing there. All right, join us tonight. Number one Cochrane Sports Showdown. We're on tonight after the late news KDKA for Tim Benson. Lots of Bob Daytona Pompiani. 500. Lots of it. <laughs> we'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>